Charlie Belcher, who's uh, helping kids in another way. Look at Thunderbug. Today. Hey, good morning. Sometimes you can wait out the weather, and sometimes the weather waits you out. <laughs> we, <laughs> kids are gone. We, the lightning got really, really close, and we had to send the kids home to make sure that they stayed safe. So, uh, yeah, you can see this, like, right over Temple Terrace, where I am. It, like, look at that. Uh, so you can see the, 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 the field's a mess. It did. The conditions are no longer safe. Uh, so unfortunately, our buddy baseball players uh, have gone on home uh, or gone to where it is safe. I'm still standing out here because I want to tell you more about this organization, and that's what I'm going to do. Come on, Rain, bring it on. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, and I hope you don't go anywhere either. Stay tuned. Let me tell you about this wonderful program. You won't see kids out there playing on the field, but oh, we'll paint a picture for you if you just stay tuned and whatever the weather. Make it a good day, Tampa Bay. Rain, rain, go away. Come back again some other day. That was what, what we were singing and chanting here in Temple Terrace. And the louder we sang, the harder it rained. So we just gave up. Sent the kids home. We are talking about buddy baseball. Had some lightning in the area. Didn't want to uh, jeopardize their safety at all, so all the families have gone on home. But Russ is still here to tell us about Buddy Baseball, a, a opportunity for special needs kids to get out on the baseball diamond and have fun just along with everybody else. That's it. These kids don't have an opportunity to play in a regular team because their disabilities hold them back. But now they can play because they have buddies like Kelsey here to help them in have fun like everybody else does. And, and Kelsey, the buddy will just step up whenever that... that player boy or girl might need a little extra help M maybe some need more help maybe some they're just more of a of a supportive partner rooting them on yeah absolutely there's a buddy training at the beginning of every season a meet and greet where you get to meet your buddy ahead of time so that way you really get to know them a little bit before the season starts and yeah just stepping in when whether it be paying attention batting running whatever it may be we're there to help and i tell you i think the buddies get as much out of it as the players do they may get more yeah they really enjoy it they're a little nervous at first that's why we have the buddy training the first part of the season but they look forward to it every year and when they sign back up they request the same player to be their buddy again and I would assume you're, you're trying to get as many people involved, work with people financially or not. You try to just get as many people out here as possible? Correct. This past year, we've had like over 90 different schools from the Tampa Bay area play buddy baseball. So they're coming from all over. We have people driving an hour here to come play baseball. Uh, and what, what's, what's the need? What do you need more? Do you need uh, volunteers? Do you need, uh, you need more players? What do you need? We need everything. We need players. We need buddies. We need sponsorships. You know, our, our registration costs are very low thanks to our sponsorships, and it's really pretty inexpensive to sponsor a team, and all the sponsors get their names the back of the shirts. We announce them in every game and so on. But we need players. We need um, buddies. We need fans to just come out and watch. Yeah. When can they do that? We'll finish with that. Well, we start October 1st. <laughs> they play every Saturday for an hour. We play here in Temple Terrace. We have 12, 14 teams, and they come out any Saturday at that time between 10 and 3 o'clock, and you'll see an at live action. I tell you what, you, you'll, you'll really enjoy it, too. You will not be disappointed. By the way, that's Banjo, the mascot. Ban Banjo sums up all of our mood at this point, Russell. <laughs> That's, we're all, right, right, Banjo? We're, we're just over this, aren't we? We've, yes. But I think we, I think, I think Buddy Baseball deserves a do-over later. Yeah, you know what, we talked about that because we did get rained out a little bit, and that sometimes happens in the baseball. Mm -hmm. When the kids are on Christmas vacation, because mm -hmm. they're going to go back to school soon, right. when everybody's out for, during Christmas break, we're going to come back okay. and spend a morning here with Buddy Baseball again. So around Christmas time, we'll do this again and do it right. And you know I love the Buddy Baseball. You do. And I'll be there again. You're their MC for many gig, many I events, will. right? Tell them, tell yeah. them, unless you've taken it away from me, like you've taken no. every other job away from me, I I've will. I've got plenty of those <laughs> to do myself. You can... I know. We, we can... I know. I know. There are plenty to go around. Tell Russ hello for me, and I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Take care. Right. I love you. Bye-bye. Diamonds are a girl's.